In today's video, you're going to get to see a beautiful 1964 Chevy Impala Supersport. Hey chap, my name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for your thumbs up, for you subscribing to my channel, and also remembering to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being released. Today, you're going to meet a gentleman. His name is Mike. He has an absolutely gorgeous 1964 Chevy Impala Supersport. This car was won by his grandfather in a lottery. Mike's had it for about three years. It's gorgeous. It's got machine turned aluminum in it. It's just beautiful. So without further ado, let's hop in. Let's go for a drive and let's check out this beautiful 1964 Chevy Impala. Can you rev the engine, Mike? Oh, that's just a gorgeous sound. And honk the horn. Beautiful. Okay, turn her off. Come on out. Mike, what is this thing? So this is a 1964 Chevy Impala Super Sport. Oh, my God. She's beautiful. Thank you. I know you said she's pretty, yes. but not this pretty. This is incredible. How long have you had it? So I've had it again for three years. Three years. But there's a bit of a history to this yes. car. Yes. Tell me about it. My grandfather bought this car off of a gentleman who won it in a draw in 1982, almost 40 years ago this weekend. A lottery? Yes. So the Milton Optimist Club bought this car at auction in 1982, and they raffled it off as their grand prize for the graffiti car of the year at their graffiti dance. And where was that? Uh, it was, uh, I was, I don't know the address, but it was in Milton, Ontario. Oh, right, like a local. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. So your grandfather had it for how many years then? My grandfather had it for 20 years. And this is the car, like all original? This is the way the car was uh, built? So, yeah, this is, it's had a couple accessories, bumper guards added by my grandfather, passenger mirror added, fender skirts added. Uh, my grandfather painted it in 1984 uh, because there was a brake fluid can stain on the hood Ooh, okay. and they couldn't blend it with the technology back then, so he had the car painted. Um, but when he bought it, it only had 3,800 original miles on it. So you're telling me that the fender skirts were not on the vehicle before? No, they're an aftermarket accessory. You know, I have a thing about fender skirts. I, right? I, I've heard. Yes, yes. <laughs> and somebody reminded me they have a thing about mini skirts, but that's a different story. There you go. Wow, what an absolutely gorgeous machine. It's the detail in this though, Mike. Like, they didn't have to do rounded tail lights and everything else. No. It's funny, not a lot of people realize the 64 Chevy Impala was a carryover of the 1963 because the 1965 design wasn't ready yet. Really? So this car is a lot more similar to a 63 than people realize. The doors are the same doors. A lot okay. of the dash is the same dash. You know what's interesting? I've never seen this in any other car is the finish on the back there. Like it's called a machine turned aluminum and it was specific to the Super Sport package. My Lord. What an absolutely gorgeous machine. And it sort of continues all the it, way along. Yeah, as well as the trim inside the dash. So you said your grandfather added two things. One was the fender skirt, and the other one was what? He added the bumper guards and the passenger mirror. What's a bumper guard? Right here. These were a, uh, a dealer accessory. Oh, really? Yeah. Yet it looks like it's molded in and everything. Yeah. But it, it isn't, hey? This they is... are bolt-on accessory front and rear. Oh, that is so cool. You know what I like about the front end of this, too, is the fog lamps. He added those as well. They were a period correct accessory i have a thing about those too that's another thing to add on my list it's funny things. as a child i hated them really? and Why when so? we bought the car back that was one of the first things i had to put back on it 
Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's a keeper right there. As though she doesn't need that little extra pop, this just kind of... Well, it, it wasn't my grandfather's car yes. without them. So how big is the engine on this thing then? So it's a 327 cubic inch, 300 horsepower, turbo fire V8. Beautiful machine though. You know what else is cool? Everything about it, the lines on this car. Like, look, look how much it actually pops out. That's almost mm -hmm. like what? About a two inches or so? Oh yes. Before it kind of goes and the straightness of it all. How long is this thing? It is just a little over 17 feet. Beautiful machine, Mike. I don't know what to say. Like I am <laughs> speechless because this is this is extraordinary. It actually looks like it just came off the showroom floor. Well, that's the idea. Like literally, there is not a floor in the car. It's not even a little stain. Like no, no, yeah. we try not to. Oh my god! Even now, uh, when we put tires on it, we went with reproduction bias ply as per the original uh, factory specs. Yeah, and there's something about white walls as well, isn't yep. there? Yeah. Can we take a look at the engine area? Absolutely. Hey, hang on a second. I've never seen that before. No. How do you release it? Right you actually pull it out. That's it. Nothing inside the car back so in the day. none of this fiddling around underneath and nope. everything else. All stock engine? Like It's all stock spec. We did have the motor out twice, <laughs> back once in 1982 when my grandfather bought it to reseal it. And the same thing when we got it back, we had to take it out and have it all resealed. And we had, uh, we had it gone through. So who does the mechanical work on this car? Uh, myself. <laughs> so are you a mechanic? No. So you're just like a hobbyist? I, I am, yes. Good for you. With way too much OCD to send it in to have somebody lean over the fender, so I've learned to do a lot I, I myself. I hear you. I hear you. I wish I could say the same thing, but I actually depend on others uh, to take care of my car. But um, so one of the nice oh, things. So this was an original Arizona car. It was sold new at San Chevrolet in uh, Glendale, Arizona. And you know this how exactly? Uh, I have the paperwork. <laughs> how the heck did you manage to get it? Uh, we found some of it under the carpet, and uh, just a lot of research and and harboring paperwork for many years wow. but it is it so it's a factory air-conditioned car so that in itself back in the day that that's yeah I have paperwork I think I think that was a $360 option on this car or in, in those dollars back in the 19 60, yeah ooh. 1964 yeah it's like a king's ransom yeah. That's a lot of money. It was. Yeah, when the base price of the car was uh, I believe 2297 so when you buy the SS Impala back in the day, it doesn't guarantee, or it doesn't automatically come with air conditioning. No, in misconception, the Super Sport package is actually an appearance package. A lot of people presume that it was a performance package, but you could actually get a six cylinder, single exhaust, three in the tree Super Sport. Really? Yes. Wow. Far less common, but. Look at these. You can eat off of the dishes on these things. They're not even the pretty ones. Oh, you have nicer ones? The, the original ones for the car become so valuable that they've been taken off and put on the shelf. Really? Yes. How gorgeous is this? This is an awfully long car, too. How much space is there in the, uh, the trunk of the this trunk? Thing? Well, yeah. we have a bunch of stuff in there, but uh, I, I'm trying to think. Like, can I you think hide it has a body or two in there? Oh, or five. To? Oh, or five. Yeah, okay. I, I want to think that it's something like 42 cubic feet. Good Lord. Is it's what big, it works out. Bigger just, than my engine? Yeah. So, oh, yes, yeah, so we Look have lots that. of goodies in there, some vintage luggage. But so, this was uh, so that was a picture of the car when it first came to Canada in 1982. Wow, so 3,800 miles original paint, beautiful. And then, uh, that's that was the copy of the winning ticket. <laughs> so, you're not making it up, okay? I'm not it's, making it's, it up. It's, there it's it is. Here. So how many, hey, did he buy three for five bucks? And uh, the gentleman who won the car bought three for five dollars. He wow. paid five dollars for this car. Oh my God. So. You know how long I've been playing Lotto Max and gotten nothing out of it? You and me both. <laughs> One of these days. What an incredible machine. What's the album here then? So this is, uh, this is just 40 years of paperwork with the history of the car. Wow. Um, so that was go, the go back one. What is that? So this is the original 
uh, build sheet for the car, a copy of the original build sheet. So from Glendale. Yep. How cool. So this is one of the only ways to document a General Motors product prior to 1977 is to actually have this. And uh, the nice thing about this is it actually shows the original options and packages and everything that uh, was lost in the big archive fire. So it's hard to read here, but what would have been the original dollar for the bill of sale? So we have that as well. So we use this document in order to come up with, and there it is right there. Wow. So that's what that car would have cost back in the day. Look at that. And uh, yeah, there it is, $363 for air conditioning. So do they have like delivery tax and all this nonsense like we do these days? Um, I think there's another document. So there's, this is uh, showing all of the accessories that have been added to it and uh, so they have, yep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got a smile. The, the bumper guards were $22. Yep. For all four or each? Uh, that would probably were. It's got to be all four. Uh, where are the bumper oh, here, guards right, listed? Right, front, rear. Uh, yeah, and right, right, yeah, twenty two okay. fifteen for all of them. My gosh. But yes, there, so it did have a destination charge of hundred forty one seventy five. <laughs> you got to love it. Yeah. My God. Oh, magnificent. So thirty six hundred dollars, and that's U.S. dollars. Which U.S. Is like dollars. What, Seventeen million Canadian. Back now it is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Incredible. How cool! And you've got the entire history. So you don't have pictures of your kids like this, but you've got. Oh, well, we have car. some of them, but yeah. So. Wow. So this car had passed through the hands of the founder of Ciadella Interiors. He owned the car at one time. So how many owners were there in total then? Well, I think we counted it and, and it's changed hands about uh, probably over the years, about 15 times. Wow. Is there um, a picture of your granddad here? There is. Uh, let's see here. There should be... There's a picture of myself as a child with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at you. Yep. You were cute back then. What happened? I, I don't Nick? know. And there was, uh, it's my grandfather. Oh, wow. That's when Priceless. he just had it painted in 1983 or 1984. So when he had it painted again, same color more or less? Same color. This is the original paint on the bottom of the trunk. Oh, right. So this was never repainted? Never been painted. You can tell because it still has the sealant still showing. When they repaint them, they paint over the sealant. So the new paint is identical. Yep. Like they've done a great job matching it up as yep. well. Magnificent. Beautiful. He must be proud, especially now that you're driving her and... Uh, yeah, unfortunately he passed away before I could get it home, but uh, uh, I'm sure I'm sure he's looking down and he's knows. Looking, so. He's smiling. Yes. Yeah. So he right. actually, um, he sold the car in 2002 to pay for my college. What? He's, yes. So Get out of here, Mike. <laughs> Seriously? He did. What a granddad. So I tried to talk him out of it, but uh, he sold it. It... Uh, it was sold locally yes and then uh more importantly did you pay attention in college as a result of him sacrificing this thing i did good man okay i did um not to put <laughs> you on a spot but i had to okay I, yeah no i did I, uh, I i wound up using some of that college education for a while and after the recession it wasn't worth it unfortunately yeah. but uh i chased the car for 17 years uh found out it went stateside really so Originally from the U.S., came to Canada, went back to the U.S. Yeah, I discovered it went to San Diego. Okay. I thought for sure it became a low rider. Yeah. Uh, or with the roof chopped or something different. That, yeah, yeah. low rider, wheels, hydraulics, the works. Yes. Um, finally found that it left San Diego and went all the way to Champaign, Illinois. Ooh. Uh, finally got a hold of the people there, discovered they had traded it in on a 96 Impala SS. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but it was lost again, and then uh, um, during this time, I had bought a 64 Impala SS clone okay. that I had been working on to make look like this car. Same color? Yeah, it was the same color. Uh, it was almost identical by the time uh, I was happy with it, and I was actually looking to put tires on it and was trying to decide on my size of white walls. Okay. And while I was looking, I stumbled across this car that was for sale online, and it had 
Uh, it had wider white walls, and I thought, okay, well, that's they're a little bit big, but I was getting closer. And while I was looking at the pictures, I saw a trunk lock guard on it. And I got to thinking my grandfather made one of those on his car. And What's a trunk lock guard? Uh, it's a little piece of uh, aluminum that uh, my grandfather had handmade and put around the trunk. So where would it go? Well, it turns out that it's right here because my grandfather made that. He made that? He did. Okay. That's, he handmade that. Back so you in, don't scratch it? Was that the concept? So, yeah, if you're pushing the key in the... You're not going to slip and scratch the paint. So... While looking for these tires, I, I found this car online that had that and was for sale. And, and I phoned, it was a dealership. And I phoned and I asked them, I said, what's the serial number on that car? And they said, well, the, those cars are for sale, but they belong to the, the owner. It's his private collection, so we don't give them out. So I said, well, I rhymed off the serial number. And they said, yeah, that's the car. And I said, oh, and, you know, they said, well, how do you know it? And I, I didn't want to tell them because, yeah. you know, the price goes up on For sentiment. Sure. So yeah, I just yeah. said, I saw it years ago and we got to talking. We went back and forth. I made an offer and they made a counter offer and we made another counter offer. And next thing you know, uh, I was booking a trailer. We bought the car back. <laughs> but it was in the basement of a Cadillac dealership in uh, Andover, Massachusetts. What a story. And the, the key was this. Literally, no, that, no pun intended. That, there that was the giveaway as I saw that wow. in the photos, and I knew right then and there that was my grandfather's car. So it's the tiniest little detail, and all of a sudden it just came together. Yep, so uh, as much as my wife didn't like the idea, I bought it over the phone and had it shipped home. Good for you. Sometimes you got to take uh, a little bit of a leap of faith there. And, uh, that was it. I thought if I went down, I would see something I didn't like, talk myself out of it, and uh, regret so, it. So. For sure. Can I take a look inside? Absolutely. I noticed here, even on the doors there, Mike, you've got the... Uh, the guards yeah, they are they're a factory option door edge guard. They were the, op the optional Canadian equipment. Not the little uh, nope. vinyl thing? No, nope. right. they're fitted stainless steel guard. Okay, so. very cool. And again, look at the detail here. Yep. Amazing. Original carpeting as well? Like Carpet this has been changed. Okay, but same color? It, it's identical. It's all to factory spec. So small world, we talked about uh, Ciadella Interiors, the owner owned this car back right. in uh, 1981. He actually sold this car to buy a dielectric heat press, which was used to uh, make uh, the reproduction interior components. No way. <laughs> what a story. Look at the console in this thing too. Yeah, again, the super sport specific machine turned aluminum is all used throughout that. Oh, that's fantastic. It's, it's just that really elegant touch to it. Mm -hmm. So no power windows, but air conditioning. Air conditioning. Ah, man, that's lovely. What's the big red knob at the bottom? So that is a, a period correct option. Those are, uh, that's it's a Flare Stat 105, which the was the how they, yeah, so this car has four-way flashers. The originals would not have? It, originally it would not. This was an aftermarket addition that you could add. <laughs> Actually, where the heck are those in the front? Let me have a look. See, yep. give me half an hour. Just walk up the, uh, walk no up worries. the road there. They were an aftermarket accessory oh. that you could buy back in the day. So they're actually reflectors. Though. They clip in, okay. and you because back in the day they didn't have any built-in reflectors in here. So when you'd park your car, that was the only way for somebody's headlights to shine light at your car up at night. Wow! And is there a similar thing in the tail light too? The tail light like already came. By, yeah. by 64, they were putting built-in reflectors in the taillights. Oh, cool. So that was an accessory that my grandfather bought back in the day and put on that uh, I hated. <laughs> and uh, when the car came back from the States, I, I had to find them. And I found them and I put them back on. And what were you saying about the license plate? So the license plates were the original license plates issued to this car when it entered Ontario. Amazing. And back when they were issued, they, they used to follow the car, not the owner. That's right. That's right. So yeah. uh, by the time when my grandfather's ownership, the rules changed. So they became my grandfather's plates. Right. And I kept them all those years. And, and I was able to get the paperwork done to put them into my name so that they could be back on the car. What an amazing looking car. Beautiful, Mike. I see why you're so proud of her. I would be too. Wow, that and the, the family history. For sure. This the was, connection. Uh, and this that is... little key, key, what did you call that thing? Trunk guard? Yes. Trunk guard gave it away.
uh, gave it away. So wow. this is my obsession with cars started with this. I was two months old when he bought it. <laughs> That's lovely. And I love even like the, the small touches, the way the, uh, the mirrors are designed. Mm -hmm. Again, they had the Chevy logo back then too. Yep. Incredible. Can they did I in the US, in Canada this? they did not. <laughs> Say it one more time. They had the bow tie in the U.S. In Canada, they did. did they really? Didn't. Yeah, no. Why? Uh, because they used it on other cars in Canada. In the change of cost saving, yes. Okay. So, yeah, you might find them on a Buick or a Pontiac or Oldsmobile. So. Look at that. What's this What's big this silver thing? thing in the middle? Then? That is a accessory tissue box holder. <laughs> Seriously. That is. Yeah. Wow. Look at that, it swings out. Oh, for crying yep. out loud. With the same box of Kleenex in there from Zellers from the 80s. Oh, remember Zellers? That, mm -hmm. that brings back that is it. memories. And the radio as well, Mike, all, all stock, all original. Yeah, and that's actually an AM FM push button, five, five preset. Does it work? It does. Oh, it's priceless. It does. And interesting, on the factory air conditioned car, you'll notice that below there is another ashtray. Yes. And that uh, just above beside the radio is also an ashtray and it was uh, discovered partway through the 1963 model year that that center uh, air conditioned vent that they put on there would blow the ashes out of the ashtray. <laughs> so they took the Chevy truck ashtray and they added it to the bottom of the dash. And that's My another God. tell that it's a factory air conditioned car. Look at this. Even the steering wheel is elegant on this thing. I love that little ring for the horn as well. I mean, yep. it's just little touches like that. Beautiful. And this in the back, is that a speaker? It is. Fantastic. It's the level of detail. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to do that in chrome. Like today's cars is all bloody yep. plastic, let's be honest. But uh, So the interior is called Fond Beige in this car. It's gorgeous. This was... Uh, What's with the mats here? The mats are to protect the original floor mats underneath that have become far too valuable. Can we take a peek? Absolutely. So these are the original floor mats? Yeah, these were a four-piece contour set is what they were called, the contour mat. And they were a factory accessory or a dealer accessory. Wow. And uh, in 1964, they were a one-year only color, which is why they've become so valuable. My Lord, it's amazing. Like even the detail on the vent there, everything about this. What a magnificent car. Can we take it for a quick drive, Mike? Absolutely. We just have to put this back in. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> well, you don't trust me to step on it? I don't trust me to step on it. Uh, oh, 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 hang on a second. The lever's here, just forward, back. Forwards and backwards, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And I guess this would lean forward to climb in and out the back? Yep. Yep, they do. At an angle, of course. Yep. Right? Got to make it easier for the, uh, for the rear seat passenger. And the glass as well? Glasses, yeah, this car is a full factory tint on it. So it's green glass through and through, which was yes. uh, pretty common when you ordered air conditioning yep. or even just common to have in the southern states to help uh, keep them cooler. Fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let's there we go. Thank you. So no seat belts, no nothing. No seat belts. It wasn't even an option, eh? It was an option. Oh, you had to pay extra for that? Uh, actually, so this car was built in June of 1964. So on the build sheet, it shows that it has optional seat belts okay but uh this car's never had it's never had holes in the floor for it um so i did some research and i actually discovered that as of january 1st 1964 seat belts were standard equipment right but you could have them deleted on the super sport because they cluttered the interior so they used the same code on the punch cards right to put seat belts in but after january 1st of 64 it meant to delete them how about that so yeah so cool hey what's this knobby do by the way that's the oh that is the other okay so this was the one that when you did this yes oh, with the air conditioning happens. it dumped your ashtray right so that's why the air cars and they added the okay the one out of the truck no no lighter uh yes lighter right here oh, that's the lighter. yeah okay which obviously 60s car it's got some miles on it yeah and then this one here is the fog lights oh lovely so yes and so what's the mileage on this thing now so this is 19,689 original miles she's barely warm that's it and Isn't you can feel it's something? running it's smooth beautiful yes okay and i love even the the rear view mirror there yes look at the elegance of that thing yeah just plain plain and simple 
Jesus, Mike, I know you said she was cool, but yeah. not what I expected. No, well, that's beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Do so you want to go for a drive? Yeah, let's go for a quick right. drive. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's it's, talk about it's smooth. It's like a new car. Yeah, they advertised Jet Smooth Luxury. That was their that was their selling line for this car. Oh, there's so much elegance to this thing. You must get a lot of waves and nods and Oh, uh, we do. My lord. And the story for the teddy bear in the back? So the one on the driver's side behind me is uh, it was just a friend of mine made it for me. Oh, it's sitting on the jacket my grandfather used to wear when he was taking the car to car shows. Wow. The one on the other side is a memory bear made with uh, my grandfather's favorite pajamas. Oh. And he's wearing my grandfather's car show hat that he always That's kept in amazing. this car. You know what? I love the fact, Mike, that you've kept your grandfather's spirit alive. Yes. In everything you're doing and just maintaining that for as long as you can you know i think that's amazing well do you, for, do you have uh, kids uh, i yes i have a stepson and a stepdaughter are they into cars andrew is very much into cars okay. elizabeth is a little bit into cars but right on. yes excellent so andrew if you're listening you got to make sure that when dad's <laughs> uh busy with other things you have to maintain this car andrew spends a lot of time helping me maintain this car excellent. he's actually just finished uh, his schooling and he's now a licensed mechanic so excellent okay no excuses then no beautiful oh yeah very rarely do we work the 300 horse but it or oh, she can go oh it, it, it yes definitely and it's just so smooth Mike oh yes like good lord you know what else is really cool is the fact that when you roll down the rear mirror, uh, window as well, it's all open. It is. It is yeah. a hard top. Very uh, convertible-ish. Yes. You can see why somebody would want to chop off the roof, but uh, I'm glad yes. you didn't. They so. did come in a convertible. Okay. You could get a, a Super Sport convertible as well as a two-door hard top. Right on. Very nice. So, so cool. I love it. It's the detail. Mm -hmm. Everything about this car. Fantastic. Okay. I love the way it's even carpeted along the side panels there. Yeah, that was uh, specific to Super Sport as well. Wow. They were just hard plastic on the base model. And even the way the door closes, right? It, it literally, this is like beautiful. a brand new car. It is, it is unreal how nice this car drives. And again, the original exhaust would have been that's, just in the same position. That's it, yep. Yeah. Never kind of protruding at the back end. Yep, it, it is all, it is a stock spec as parts allow for it to be. Amazing. Yeah, for sure. Mike, just what can I say? Sure. Thank you. No problem. This has been an absolute blast. I mean, when you and I chatted on the phone and you mentioned your granddad's car, I did not expect this. This is just remarkable. And she's absolutely gorgeous. Thank and you. I know you're going to take care of her, as will your son in years to come. So yes. thank you again. No problem.